all right hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is brian from k Hux nation and in today's episode we are going over the new dragon showcase that recently came out of the game it came out well like yesterday i think yesterday or today one of the two i don't quite remember um but yeah came back uh tldr it's basically just a return of existing dragons there's no as far as i'm aware there's no new units here in this showcase but at the very least i wanted to go over it real quick with you guys in case any of you were interested in it okay so without further ado let's go ahead and go down the list uh so the first item being the five star shadow shinobi dragon all right activate ability shuriken shower deals shadow damage to the target and nearby enemies and energizes the entire team once energized use using any applicable applic applicable skill or reset that adventures energy level to zero fairly standard uh, pretty decent like the honestly the fact that it can it fully energizes the entire team kind of busted okay well not fully busted but it's pretty damn good like most if not almost all other units in the game including adventurers that deal anything related to energy only provide like one or two levels of energy before the the character the adventurer becomes energized the fact that shinobi fully energizes the entire team that's kind of that's kind of nuts um already a really great ability passive ability uh if you're attuned to shadow increases strength by 20 percent very on the low side however the second passive ability is what makes up for it significantly um which is if you're tuned to shadow increases skill damage by 90 percent that's absolutely huge already by far one of the best dragons in the game um any dragon that has that sort of passive and there is a few of them in the game as of right now um, but any dragon that has that set, sort of passive is automatically one of the best dragons in the game right now. Um, and that's just not even including what their activated abilities are. So include just just including the fact that Shirk and Shower energizes the entire team automatically, already maxes out their energy levels. That's insane. Insane value automatically whatsoever if you happen to get them. Um, totally worth obtaining. Uh, second dragon, Kono, uh, Konohana Sakuya. Okay, five star fire dragon. All right, activated ability. The Sidious Dance deals flame damage to the target and nearby enemies and increases the damage dealt by the user's next skill by 40%. Pretty good. Not out, not nearly as outrageous compared to Shinobi's was, um, but it's still pretty good. It's still pretty decent. Okay uh has both single target and aoe effect already good in my book the fact that it increases the next user's skill damage by 40 percent and it ends up being completely depending on completely what unit you're using but overall it's it's a pretty decent uh ability okay um not outrageous but it's like that better than average like type ability uh pass ability flame strength 20 percent skill damage 90 percent same exact thing as shinobi already up there as one of the best okay uh takamikazuchi i hope i pronounced that correctly i have no idea five star light dragon uh it's kind of well never mind uh first ability th activate ability thunderous charge deals light damage to enemies in a line and inflicts stun change changing direction in is possible during the attack uh, it's kind of different compared to some of the other dragon abilities we've seen so far uh, not too many dragons actually inflict a status element, so that's fairly decent. Most dragons tend to have a pretty big hitbox in terms of their attacks as well, uh, so you, you're you can probably hit quite a few enemies with that uh, with that move. Um, although I will say it's it's on the much lower end of the spectrum on how useful the activated ability is. It's not that useful. You're you're nine times out of ten. You'll probably end up using it mostly just for damage than anything else. Uh, if it happens to stun them, then it just happens to stun. Them. Okay. Uh, the passive abilities: if you're attuned to light, increases strength by forty percent. Attuned to light, increases damage to enemies in an override overdrive state by twenty five percent. This 
it's not a bad unit okay it's it's definitely above average unit but it's not nearly as op compared to konohana or shinobi's was okay um the best way to put it is that it's almost in a sense just a amped up version of what some of the four star dragon units are like okay um yeah it's basically just an amped up four star unit and just to kind of give an example of what exactly i'm talking about uh let me show you some of the four star dragons and i'm i'm like referring to. so like for example uh ifrit it's almost like a amped up light version of ifrit okay ifrit now i have my ifrit maxed uh fully unbound okay so it has slightly higher uh strength increase but my ifrit provides a 45 percent strength increase as his passive and that's it okay that's not base that's basically the bulk of tamaka what what, what kazuchi whatever his name is uh ability that's essentially the bulk of his passive ability the most relevant part of his uh passive abilities okay uh yeah okay the overdrive punisher is useful okay uh but it's not like you don't the 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 enemy that you end up fighting isn't always going to end up or should I say, isn't going to be in an overdrive state all the time, okay? It's only like, you know, periodically we'll enter overdrive, and which is what would make that ability relevant, okay? Whereas the 40% strength, that's consistently being applied throughout the entire battle, which is way more valuable compared to the overdrive finisher. So for this unit, it's pretty much just the 40% that's making up the core of this unit, especially since the... Uh, activated ability isn't exactly that glorious uh, for the most part the most notable mention for tamaka kazuchi is the 40 percent strength buff okay um and it's only because if it has like a, a like an extra ability here and there that makes it slightly better than a four star unit but compared to the previous two dragons that are returning in this uh, showcase uh, Konohana and Shinobi, it is nowhere near, like, it, it doesn't even hold a candle to them, in other words, so. You you would much rather obtain these two compared to to uh, the last one, so. Uh, those are the only three returning, apparently, or at least have a higher chances of obtaining in this uh, showcase. Uh, so, just wanted to give my thoughts about it. If you're able to get Shinobi or Konohana... By all means, they are very useful to have. Uh, but other than that, I would love to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. Uh, especially any of you veteran players out there that have been playing since day one. I know I came into the game like a few months after the the game sent, like the game launched. Uh, but I feel like I'm I'm more or less starting to get to a point where I I pretty much understand at this point. Uh, understand the game at this point. There's only like a couple things I have not yet done yet uh such as fully mastering the uh high dragon or, or you know high wind worm events i i still can't quite do those uh but aside from that i pretty much have a good sense of the game uh but other than that let me know what yeah <laughs> other than that though let me know what your thoughts and opinions are in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from KX Nation, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, y'all.